Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be unboxing or opening a uh, package that was sent to me by a good friend of mine, Grant Johnson, also known as Grantito Johnson on the Instagrams. He's been helping me find some Jurassic Park 30th anniversary things. And he also sent some extras, which is really sweet of him. You really didn't need to do this, but I guess you're too nice and I can't really say no, can I? I can't send them back, can we? So let's take a closer look at what we've got. So we're gonna start with some sweeties. So we have some trolley sour bursting crawlers of flavor explosion U gummy candy, which I'm a big fan of. I love gummy candy. And some high chews, which are pretty much what Mao Wams are here, aren't they? Now let's take a look at the packaging. <laughs> Thank you so much for these. I love, oh, wait a minute. No, these look a little bit different actually. They've got like a, like the, it's got a filling and then it's got something around it with our unique double layer. Okay, so it's not like Mao Wams, but kind of. This, these just have like an extra layer on around them. Okay, okay, all right, so. I'm gonna give these a go. And then, these are just uh, pretty much gummy worms, but they're really sour. I like fizzy ones. Sour ones, I kind of, yeah, I like them too, as long as they're not too sour, like toxic waste. That's that's a bit extreme. I still eat it because I'm crazy, but oh, wait a minute, the packaging's a bit sticky. Oh, but thank you very much. Let's have a look at what else you got us. We have some special stuff, actually. We'll have a look at this one first. This is a miniature pocket pop keychain uh, of a Velociraptor for the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park. So five years ago now, gosh, doesn't time fly. This is a green raptor, which I don't remember seeing in any Jurassic Park, but this is really cool anyway. I think Sora might add this to her keychain or, or to the backpack or whatever, we'll see. But at the same time, I don't know if we want to open it though, because it is a 25th anniversary product exclusive so i don't know what should we do with these you let us know guys in the comment section down below and thanks so much again for this let's move on to the next thing we have a really cool card from 1997 of the lost world it's got the classic logo right there and the classic T-Rex bursting out the logo too. This kind of design with the T-Rex popping out of the logo or bursting through the logo was quite popular um, in 1997 with the release of this. It was pretty much on everything the Lost World branded. This is really cool. Thank you so much for this. This is a uh, this is great. Once I have a once we have a house, we will be displaying these properly. But look at that. This is awesome. Hope you can see it properly on camera. It looks really nice. But this isn't the really special, well, this isn't just the only really special thing. We have two more cards. These are from even longer ago. These are two Tops cards from Jurassic Park. And these are holographic, like actual holographic. They're holograms. I don't know if you can see these properly, but let's have a look at the Dilophosaurus first. You can see that it's got its frill down and then it opens its mouth and it's got its frill up too. So you can see in the background, there's the Jurassic Park T-Rex fence with the Ford Explorer in the background. And then the frill opens and it's actually spitting venom too. How cool is that? It's <laughs> amazing. This is a sticker says peel right here which I'm not gonna do because it's got a nice thing behind action hologram two of four look at that with the classic JP merchandise logo from back in the day this is amazing printed in the USA well wow, you don't see that very often nowadays look at that let's have a look at the other one this is a baby raptor hatching Oh, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> wow. This is really special. Why don't we get stuff like this anymore? I don't get it. <laughs> wow. That artwork is beautiful. 
I don't know how holograms are made, but this is really fascinating. That's crazy cool. Three of four. So we're just missing number one and number four. So, uh, Grant, why didn't you send the others? No, I'm just joking. Thank you very much. You really didn't have to. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I might need to get a binder for, uh, actually no, I can put them in my sticker binder. That's really cool. Okay, so let's move on to the creme de la creme of this uh, package. All the other things were surprises, but these are the ones that we were expecting. We got three 30th anniversary captives by Toy Monster International. Build and battle dinos, so like the pop and locks things again. Unfortunately, they are a bit sticky though because of the, the, <laughs> the candy that came with them. But honestly, it's totally fine. We're taking the packaging off anyway. We're interested in what's inside. So, without further ado, I think we should open these and find out what's inside. All right, let's have a look. So, just like the other captive stuff, there should be a little open tab right here, a pull tab, which is uh, which doesn't always work properly. <laughs> we'll find out if this one works. All right. Mm, maybe not. Let's see. Ah, um, yes. Yes, I did it. Okay. Oh, these are cool golden eggs. Unlike these ones, these are like teal. This, this is special because it's 30th anniversary, so it has to be gold. Okay, so let's have a look. What's inside? Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at the JP logo right there. <laughs> this is so cool. And then we have another bag here, which contains the figure and a collector card, which we'll have a closer look at later. Let's have a look at the slime first. What color is it? I'm gonna need some scissors for this. trying to make it look like amber. I'm not gonna take it out because I don't like slime that much, but it's kind of a translucent yellow, which makes me believe they kind of wanted to make this look like amber, which is really cool. Yeah, yuck. Look, <laughs> all right, let's have a look at the interesting bit. <laughs> what we want is in here, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, we've got a rare one. Oh, let's have a look at that later. Oh, look at that. So these are collector cards and they're drawn by the immensely talented Jaros, uh, who is a friend of mine. And if you don't, you should really follow him on Instagram because he posts stuff like this all the time. Look at that, oh, isn't that? Oh, they're so cute, but not because they're they want to kill you, but they're cute still. <laughs> yeah, if you cute could kill. If we turn it round, it says Baby Velociraptor Metallic. Killer rating four. Uh, footprints out of, I don't know, footprints. <laughs> Got a lot of intelligent eyes. It's three foot tall. One meter tall. Is it that big in the film? I don't think they are that tall in the film and it weighs 25 kilos so it's not really like the hatchling is i think it's supposed to be like a juvenile then because it wouldn't weigh 25 kilos right at the of the egg but we love this card it's like a plastic card which is why it's a little bit warped also because it was in the egg but i'm sure we'll be able to sort of make it flat again just by working it a bit like this but this is beautiful Absolutely stunning work by the, the guys at Toy Monster International. Let's have a look at what is in the collection. So we have... Oh, the only rare one is the raptor that I got. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. 
Okay, so we got a Triceratops, a Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Parasaurolophus, Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, Gallimimus, and Baby Velociraptor. So there is a normal version of what we have. Looking at these, they all look really screen accurate color wise. Let's have a look at the figure. Okay, so the figure is actually in two parts. There's the egg, which is just a, just a broken shell. The sculpt looks really nice, it's fairly detailed. There's the logo on the side. And then there's the dinosaur itself, which is quite faithful to the uh, to what we see in the film. You can see all sorts of uh, detailing on the back. And that head sculpt looks pretty much identical to what we see in the film, or even the concept art by Crash McCreary. It's hard to sort of gauge how well the paint jobs are gonna be just by looking at this one, because it doesn't really have a complicated paint job on it at all but it lets us appreciate the sculpt more because you can see the detail more. So it's got its arms poking out like that, which it'll sit like that. Look at it, it's got its own little, little home. <laughs> oh, a rare one straight off the bat. That's cool. Place bets guys, put in the comment section down below what you think is gonna be. Oh, it's a dilo! Oh, so it comes with a little bit of back foam plastic so the figure doesn't get warped. And we, here we have the collector card with that absolutely stunning artwork. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over how good these look. Which is the reason why all of these figures have pretty much spot on paint apps because they had Chris Pugh and Jaros uh, advising them on uh, how to make them look as screen accurate as possible, which is something that us fans really, really appreciate. So thanks so much, Toy Master International, for hiring fans and for listening to people who love this franchise. Anyway, let's turn the card around. It's got a lot of killer ratings, it's got more, it's more than the Baby Raptor. It's a lot less intelligent than the Baby Raptor. Five feet tall, does that, eh, yeah, that kind of, no, actually two meters. It's not two meters tall, is it? Five feet isn't two meters, by the way. It's two meters is, uh, it's usually six feet is, six feet something is two meters, isn't it? I think they might've rounded down by quite a bit <laughs> or up, <laughs> depending on, and never mind. 400 kilos of Dilophosaurus. I think this is just meant to be like for playing. Like they, they kind of made up some stats. So you can play with them because these are build and battle ones. So they had to kind of make the, make the stats make more sense for the game. Um, but other than that, the other things are really screen accurate. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I really like the colors in the background. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning design. Let's have a look at the uh, figure itself. So we want to stick the tail in its bum hole like that, and it fits in really easily, unlike some other figures, which we need to heat up. This went in really quickly and easily. So the sculpt is the same sculpt as the other previous captive Dilophosaurus, I believe. I've never owned any of those, but from what I see on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews videos, it seems to be the same. So the head isn't that screen accurate, unfortunately. It's got a weird big top. Uh, the crests look a bit weird on the top of the head and the face is a bit too pointy. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It's got a really big frill. And I wonder if this thing stands. Oh, I think the leg is a bit warped. I think if we heat bend it, it might be able to stand properly. But also, the frill's quite top heavy. It makes the figure top, quite top heavy too, so I'm not sure. Um, after sort of bending the leg a little bit, let's see if it stands. And it stands, look at that, even with the frill. This is quite, uh, this is quite surprising actually. <laughs> anyway. The color is like a gray, um, which is pretty close to what we see in the film. In the film, it's like a green, but it's it's a really strange type of green. Um, it's like a really gray olive green. Um, and it's got some nice black. Is that black? Yeah. 
nice black patterns, which look pretty close to what we see in the film. And the, fri the frill as well has got some really nice patterns going on, which resemble what we see on screen. The claws aren't painted, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, but because this is a minifigure, I don't really, I'm not really that fussed. The nice thing about the paint job about this is that it's got a wash all over it. So it brings out the detail in the sculpt, which is something really nice. There's a very faint sort of line sculpted in the back of the frill, and that is picked up really nicely by the wash. You would not have noticed that if there was no wash. This is our second figure from this lot. Let's have a look at the last one. So this is the final one. I have not seen these in the UK anywhere, which is why uh, Grant has sent these over, which is very kind of you. Thank you very much again. But yeah, I hope that eventually these will make their way over here to the UK. Anyway, let's open it up. And it's another Dilophosaurus. <laughs> well, we don't need to review this one, but it's interesting to see how much warped the leg on is on this one. Um, if you're open for trading, then I guess <laughs> we can trade some of these. Yeah, this one's leg's a bit more warped, but with a little bit of uh, heat and love, we can make this guy stand again. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is Marco from the future and uh, Grant has actually sent me another parcel with a couple more things which was totally unexpected and uh, I'd like to thank you so much again, <laughs> you're way too kind. Uh, but let's have a quick look at what's, uh, what's inside. He sent me some unboxed versions of these. with a couple extra bits. So, first of all, he sent me this really squishy blue, <laughs> which is uh, really goofy. And another sort of blue or beta, or I'm not sure. Is this from, oh, this is from Carl's Jr. restaurants. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Yeah, in the UK that we don't get plastic toys at restaurants anymore, like McDonald's, it's all paper stuff. Um, yeah, it's a bit sad, really. <laughs> but this is great. I wish we could get these in the UK. So I think this just, she's got wheels under there, so. Whee! <laughs> this is great. Thank you, Grant. Then he sent me this, which is a Jurassic Park air freshener, I think, or something like that. <laughs> if it's not, I'm sorry. So that looks really cool. Anyway, let's have a look at the other figures properly. Let's start with the T-Rex, because it's the T-Rex. So these are already popped and locked in. It's got two parts. The sculpt looks really nice. It's more based on the Jurassic World version. But that paintwork looks really nice too. Let's have a look at the card. Fantastic drawing by Jaros. It looks like the scene, the Moscow Faster scene, which is amazing. Turn it around. Killer rating, obviously the rating's through the roof. Yeah, it's quite smart too, look at that. 5.2 meters tall and 8,400 kilograms. You can definitely see how the wash brings out all the detail. Fantastic job by Toy Monster International, as always. Let's have a look at the next one. Let's go with the Brachiosaurus. This looks a lot darker than what we see in the film, but it's still a really, really nice sort of rendition of it. The head sculpt is spot on. This is in two parts as well, tail and neck. The overall sculpt is gorgeous. The card, well, what did you expect? It's Jaros's art, so of course it's beautiful. Oh man, killer rating is so low. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put these like on a, underneath a heavy book or something. So they get straightened out a bit because they're a bit warped. And then we have the Gallimimus, which looks really, really good. Look at that. This looks amazing. It's like wearing boots. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll stand. Oh, it does. <laughs> Never mind. It's got tiny little feet and it still stands. That artwork, man. Look at that. Killer rating. Is that the same as the Brachiosaur? It's just a little bit less than the Brachiosaur. What do you think, though? If you think of 
the cassowary or ostriches. They're they're not as big as Gallimimus, but we all think they're pretty deadly. So just imagine Gallimimus was bigger. Just imagine how deadly this thing was. So that's it. That's all of them. And again, I don't know what to say. You're too kind. You really are too kind. Uh, we have prepared a little parcel for you that uh, we're going to send over soon. As a little thank you for everything. And thank you everyone for watching. It's been a really fun video and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.